think that's that's for me. It's just try to try to play hard, try to try to improve every day, and uh, hopefully hopefully be a better player than I was last year. So that's uh, that's kind of my my focus and my motivation for this year. There's always mixed feelings, I think, from veteran players about the number of exhibition games that they play. But with no exhibition games this season, what's, I guess, the challenge of starting the season and getting going, you know, quickly out of the gate? Uh, I think it's just, uh, um, I think now it's a bigger role that we need to do, like here in camp, we need to, we need to battle way harder than we've ever battled during camps since there's no exhibition games. So we, um, and it's, it's a good thing that we have the scrimmage that we can really push ourselves, push the guy next to you, uh, that we can, that's, that's the way we're going to help, help one another to, uh, to be ready when the puck drops. And, uh, it's just, I think today we had a really good practice, really good pace. Uh, so we just gotta, gotta keep doing that. And, uh, we'll be, we'll be ready when the puck drops. Thank you. And we'll go next to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Thanks, Sugar. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, how tough was it to be hurt in the first playoff game last year? Patrick, you worked so hard to get back and then to not be able to really participate after game one. Yeah, it was uh, obviously tough. Um, I mean, you you never want to first you lose Mark, then, then I'm out as well. Apple's out. Uh, it's it's always tough to lose players, and uh, especially in this in a short series like that, it's it's tough to watch the games from the stands. It's uh, it's a tough spot for a player, but that was just what happened. And uh, boys boys battled hard, and we'll, we were we were really proud of the way they were playing. And uh, it just wasn't wasn't quite enough last year, but uh, there's there's always a next year, and. Uh, we can we can get our revenge against the Flames this year, so that's that's a good thing. And uh, but I, I think everybody's just excited to get the, get the season going finally. Yeah, and so much talk about the improvement in your all-around game. Is there one specific area you think you can take to another level this year coming up? I I think I can even be better defensively. You know, I th took some good steps uh, last year. I think I've been kind of improving every year. You know, not not as as an 18 year old anymore so can't can't go behind that anymore uh so just try to try to be even more defensively responsible uh and just do do my job i can't do anybody else's job out there so it's just worried about my uh my position and uh what i can do what i can do better and uh hopefully ho hopefully other guys can follow and uh try to try to be an example on the ice how uh how to play Thank you. We'll go next to uh, Brian Munns from TSN 12. Patrick, when you look at the Canadian division or the North division, what stands out for you from only having six opponents now and obviously staying in Canada? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's really cool. I think everybody's excited to, uh, as a, as a hockey fan to have a Canadian division. I think uh, it's, it's awesome for the players and for the fans as well. Um, yeah, there's there's not not one easy game this year. It's uh, it's only divisional games, so that's like every every night, every point matters. So that's that's gonna be a good motivation for for all the teams, for for our guys, and for for other players as well. Um, so it'll be it'll be a battle, but I think we'll be we'll be ready for it when we work as hard as we did today. So we'll be uh, we'll be ready to uh, to earn those points that we need. On a shortened calendar and with the schedule that it is, how many goals can we expect from you? 44 is the high so far. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I, I guess hopefully, uh, hopefully start with one and kind of, kind of go from there, but uh, hopefully, hopefully more than one. Thanks, Patty. Yep. And we'll go next and last to uh, Murat Tatash from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Hi, Patrick. Thank you for doing this. Yep. Um, you mentioned that one of the steps for you uh, could be defense. And I'm thinking with Paul Stasty, with Dylan DeMello for a full year, probably team defense is going to be a little bit better this coming year. I'm just wondering if you could explain how that could turn into more offense for you guys and, and how those two things are related. Um, well, obviously, if we're, if we're chasing guys in our own end the whole game, we, we're not playing too much offense. I think that's, 
that's uh, kind of the way that if we can uh, kill plays like right away, so we can we can go to offense. So that's uh, and obviously the best defense is good offense. Like if we're playing in their end, we don't have to play too much defense. Um, so I think we can we can really improve from from last year. Obviously, Hilly won the Vezina, so that was that was a big part of our defense last year and. Uh, but we can we can be better. We uh, you know had some good additions during the off season, and that can that can really help us with that. And uh, yeah, really really excited for for the season, and uh, we can we can be a really really good team, and hopefully uh, hopefully win something big. So kind of just following through from that uh, and and those improvements. Uh, also at your age, 22, this is I think a year a lot of. A lot of players see their production continue to go up at this stage of their career. You got Paul Stastny probably as your center. Are you putting pressure on yourself to have like the best year of your career at this point? And do you see that as realistic? Oh yeah, I always, always, I think it's always realistic. You can, you can always have the best, best year of your career as a, as a young, young, kind of young guy, I, you know, always want to have a good season and uh, always, I think the most pressure is coming from myself it's coming from inside of me to want to be the best and that's that's the thing that pushes me forward uh every every day so obviously paul's gonna help me with that casey on the other side i think we can we can do something really really good this year and uh yeah just just really excited thanks very much patty yep thanks guys coach paul maurice will be up uh, shortly everyone thank you